uh, deal with the processes scheduled for that day. But one thing is clear in all these things. In all these things, what is clear is that Ghana today does not have a Minister of Justice. We may have an Attorney General who is a principal legal advisor to the President, but we don't have a Minister of Justice. Because the man who bears that title has demonstrated time and again that he doesn't deserve that title. He doesn't understand the responsibilities that come with that title. He's not interested in doing justice. He's not interested in a fair trial. He's only interested in abusing his pros prosecutorial powers in going after political opponents. But we want to serve notice to him that the NDC has been through this before. This is not the first time we are seeing this kind of witch hunts. We saw that in the immediate aftermath of the 2008 elections. They said that by the time they were, they were going to be true with us, the NDC would have collapsed. But here we are, formidable as ever, stronger as ever. We will go through this and we'll come out successful. The one thing is certain, one thing is certain, that the day of reckoning, the day of accountability for God, Freddy, Abu Adami is coming. Thank you. And if that day will not come after the 2024 elections, that day will come soon because very soon we will be holding his feet to the fire of accountability. His conduct as Attorney General, particularly in relation to his advice and recommendations on matters of some matters of judgment that have come to our attention. And in the coming days, we will be addressing you in the media and by extension, the good people of this country. On these issues, we will be putting before you incontrovertible facts about the conduct of this Attorney General and Minister of Justice, which are inimical to the interests of the states. And let's see, I mean, what, what you will have to say about that. Thank you very much, friend.